Hello everyone. Hey everybody. I'm Steve. And I'm Mark. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Yes, yes it is. Welcome or welcome back. Yes, hello. And it is so great to see you. Happy Friday. It is Friday. TGIF. Yes, TGIF everybody. And I'm rolling into a three day weekend. <laughs> you are. You're so lucky. I know. Thank you veterans. I, I have to work Monday. Oh, well. You can still think about them. Yeah. I'll, I'll be doing it from home. Well, yeah. Yeah. So. What, working? No. 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 Honoring Thinking our about the veterans. Yes. I will yes. be doing that from home. You'll be doing it from work. Yes. So. I know. Veterans Day is Monday, and it is a holiday. It's a banking holiday. I, I think it's a mail holiday. So. Surprised that I'm not off. A lot of people aren't. It's like Martin Luther King Day up here. Yeah, some, some places honor are, some it. Some places aren't. don't. Yeah. So, it's, it's a mixed bag. Yeah. But. It is. It'll be. For next week, only four days. Yeah. So that's a nice thing. And I keep forgetting over the days, and I'm like, oh, wait, I'm off Monday. Yeah. It's like a nice little surprise every time I remember. Yeah. So. That's nice. It is, Aww. isn't it? Well, you have Maybe I'll just happening. take off Monday. No, I won't do that. No, I was going to have a me do. day. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll leave you alone then. Well, no, you have to work anyway. I do have to but work. But a me day is me with the remote, me having soda before noon, you know, me just pajama pants and yeah. t shirt and yeah. cat sits with me. Yeah. I'm wearing pajama pants now. <laughs> but I can wear them all day. Busted. I can wear them all day. I just put them on for this. Okay, I have <laughs> shorts on, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I got home from work, and I'm like, oh, I just got to get a little comfortable before we film. Uh, I know, I know. And we have a fun show tonight. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So we're going on our international tasting. We are, we are. Where are we going? We're going to Romania. Mm. Oh, yeah. I thought it would be so appropriate for Spooky Steve and Mark. Indeed, indeed. Uh, and then, of course, we have two winners to pick from our uh, Facebook t-shirt giveaway. We do. We've got two winners, mm -hmm. you know. But we just wanted to check in first and see how everybody's doing. And if you have any fun plans for the weekend. Do we? Do we? We're getting Uber Eats tonight. Oh, yeah. Tonight we do Uber Eats. Yeah. We had a discount card, actually. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, that'll be nice. Because you end up spending sometimes like $50 for a burger. I know, you right? Know? With and all I, the fees and everything. And I'm like, we don't have it like that, but more than once a week. So right, this will right. be a nice little, this will cut off shipping. And yeah, everything. I got a $25 gift card from one of my rewards apps. It's a fetch app, you yeah. know. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let's treat ourselves tonight. So we got yeah. we got we got a twenty five dollar credit yeah. to work with. You gotta, you gotta go early around here though, because a lot yeah. of restaurants stop delivery at nine, or they won't deliver during the rush. Oh, I know. So if you order at six o'clock, you might get a, a alert at six thirty that it's like, by the way, we're too busy, no takeout. Like literally. Uh, okay, so there's a couple Italian places open, a couple Asian places open. And that's what we usually end up with by the end of the night. Because yeah. they're up until 9 or 10. There's the place that does Italian and Mexican food. Yeah. And they do both really well. It's not fusion. Yeah. It's just separate. That was separate. a good place. And they're really good. El maybe Buen Amigo. Maybe order from there tonight, maybe. El Buen Amigo. Yeah. Very cool. Hmm. Maybe we'll get from there. <gasps> well, talking about food. Oh, my gosh. So, we have... Some cool snacks. Here's the box. We okay. do. This is hors d'oeuvres. This is hors d'oeuvres. So the box came. We ordered a box of Romanian snick snacks. We did. And well, you can just show them how that how it looks, and we'll yeah. unpack it later. But yeah. we got a little note. It says, "Well, hello there." It's well stocked. They are WorldWideTreats.com, and they are a small family-run company, proudly owned and operated out of Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for supporting a small business. Very cool. We chose... They have all different kinds of snack boxes from all over the world. Mm -hmm. We chose... Uh, the Romanian snack box, which will include snacks... 90% of the snacks in the box are from Romania. The rest would be from surrounding countries in I you rested Europe. The rest are from Sheets. <laughs> or Wawa or something. <laughs> very, very cool. I'm so excited to good. do that. Okay. These boxes don't disappoint usually. No, they don't. They don't. I'm excited so, to get to it. Me too. So, Romania. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so Romania is a country in Europe, right? Mm -hmm. And it's surrounded by the Carpathian Mountains. Oh, it's so beautiful and so mysterious. Having like fortified churches and monasteries and castles and preserved medieval towns like dot the entire 
landscape. It's mm. so, so cool. I know I said this all the time. Every time we do one of these, I know I say this, London. but I've always wanted to visit Romania always. I've got to say I do, too. Yes. It sounds like it'd be fun. It does, yeah. Now, it's the 12th largest country in Europe, and its capital is Bucharest, and it's quite modern and uh, quite bustling in comparison to the rest of the country. <laughs> and it's well known for its forested area of Transylvania. Oh, yes. Probably most well known for uh, Dracula's Castle. Oh, yes. And we're going to talk about that later for sure. I mean, it is like spooky Stephen Marks. Exactly. So we're definitely going to be talking about that. Like, like, was it really his castle at all? And, yeah. like, was Dracula even a real person or not? Ooh, mm -hmm. I can't wait. But yeah. first, it's time. I got to get my grub on. Me too. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's unpack this and get to it. Okay. Ooh, it all looks so good. Check it does. Out. I can't read anything on anything. I uh, know. Got those. Oh, oh let's get started. What are we going to start with? I don't know. Something uh, chocolate. Ooh, something chocolate. How about this? This is Rochetto. All right. <laughs> I can't wait. I love these tastings. I love them. It's so cool to be able to try something from... Somewhere it's a wafer! I love wafers. Love them. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. It's like a big Kit Kat. Dark chocolate wafer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like a Kit Kat. It's good. Mm. I don't know if I've ever had a bad wafer. Banana flavored one time. They're not as sweet. No, they're not as That's sweet. Kit Kats, but they're good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, cool. I'm going to open this thing because I don't know what it is. Okay. And I can't find anything in English on it. But those are the pictures. I'm guessing uh, hazelnut? Yeah, maybe it's hazelnut. Okay. Mm. Ooh, it's like one big egg. Ooh, look at it! Maybe it's for Easter? <gasps> I see crispy things on the outside. You want a piece? Yes. Oh. It's a wafer. It's a wafer with some, something else in it. Mmm, there's fudge in there. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, this is good. It's not hazelnut. You mm. hate hazelnut sometimes. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of hazel. Oh, this is so creamy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uber Eats tonight. We're going to be ordering water. Oh, this is good. And lemons. Okay. <laughs> We're going to keep... I'm going to keep the wrapper of my favorite oh, as we go along. There we go. How about this one? Two crack. Crackers? You want to try the two crack? Yeah. Two crack. It's a... Cracker sandwich. I'm still picking at these. It's awful. I know, and we're just we just started. We have so much. Okay. Ooh. Okay. They look like that. Sandwich cookie type thing. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Mhm. Mm I like. S'mores without mushroom or marshmallow. Did I say mushrooms? Mmm. Looks like a country. Mix. Like, yeah. It's, it's literally a cracker, mm -hmm. but it has a chocolate sweet filling, so it's like a mix of... Like a Ritz? Mm, like Ritz. a Ritz. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Mm. With no salt on it. Oh, no. I approve. Do you? It's not great, but it's okay. I like it. Okay, I gotta keep that wrapper, because that's another one that I like. And we have another whole one in there. Okay. All right, I want to try one of these, because this looks huge. What is that? Ooh! Is that a cake? I want to say it's a cupcake of sorts. Again, nothing's written in English. Maybe so. maybe it's like the Romanian version of Hostess. Maybe. It looks like this. Okay. Hmm. And we'll see. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What do we got here? Oh, it's... Ooh. Ooh, look at it. Ooh, it's a very moist look looking chocolate cake. Oh, yes. You want to split one? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. the icing was on the bottom. What do you mean? There's icing on the bottom of the cake. Oh. It's, unless it's just settled that much. You ready? I think there's a filling strewn through here. Cherry? Mmm. 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 
Mmm. American candy sucks. Mmm. This is better than some desserts you'd get served. <coughs> oh my gosh, um. this is so <laughs> rich and indulgent. Oh, okay. This, this is, is moving good. to the top for me. Mm-hmm. Oh my heavens. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, and with a little coffee. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, I think we need something maybe. I don't know. Something mild, something salty. Do we How about it? rum? Rum sounds good. <laughs> it says rum. Uh, candit rum. All right. I don't know what that means. Open it up. Let's okay. okay. Let's try it. I'm getting full of sweets here. Already, I know. We're going to need a pallet. In fact, I think we'll do a pallet. Ooh, look at them. Oh, little crispy ones, I bet. Okay. All right. That's what it looks like. Ooh, it's... Oh, what is it? It smells like rum. You ever get a... Like a rum cake or a those, rum... Uh, what is it? Russell Stover, the sampler. Rum balls. It's very soft. I don't like it. It tastes like bubble gum. I don't like it. It tastes like big... Pink bubblegum flavored bubblegum. The other kind that's like hard to chew when you get it started. Mm hmm. I don't even taste chocolate. Um, no. Nope. Had to yawn. No, nope, I don't like that. I get a little bit of rum. I mean, I'm not triggered to it go get a It does. It tastes but... like bubblegum. Like, and not good bubblegum. Like bubblegum flavored bubblegum that you had to unwrap in the little foil and you'd have to chew on it because it was hard as... Okay, well, this one, I'm going to say, is not my favorite. No, but if you like rum... You might like it. The texture it tastes is like great. gum. It should be G-U-M, not R-U-M. The texture is good. I, I just... We're going to put these in the ash. You know what? I think it's time for a palate cleanser for real. Probably. Okay, so... I know. Let's pick the winners for our t-shirt contest, okay? There you go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so okay, so we did a Facebook contest, right? We did. For uh, two of our Halloween t-shirts, and all you had to do was comment below the post. That was it. That was it. And then we're going to use the random comment picker to, to, to pick two lucky winners. All right. And are you set up? I'm good. You're ready to I'm go? Good. Yeah. All right. Well. Okay. All right, let's just do it then, all right? All right. So all right, so the first one, there was... 25 Slide. comments? 25 comments, yep. And okay. then there's no duplicates. So okay. it would just be, if you left two comments, it would only count as so many. So you go to uh, the random comment picker, you put in the URL, and then, let's see, surprise winner. Pick winner. It spins, it spins, it spins, it spits out names and stuff like that. And our first one is Andrea Austin. Austin! Woo! Congratulations, Andrea! You won a Halloween T-shirt. Loving your first spooky Steve and Mark. Oh, well, well good. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. And All right. We have a winner. Cool. Okay. Drum roll, spin please. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. And it's Louise Brownell. Louise! Oh, congratulations! I know Louise. You know? Oh, I know Louise. her. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, cool. Well, congratulations to. Is it is Andrea? It, is it Andrea or Andrea? Andrea. Or, <gasps> Andrea. Correct us or when Andrea. you get in touch yes. with us via yes. email. We will need both of your emails. Oh we yeah. Need an address to send the shirt to. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be your home. Just somewhere safe. Where somewhere we can safe where it. we can mail it. Uh, yes. If you're not interested, totally cool. Let oh, us yeah. know. We'll pick another person. Mm -hmm. Congratulations um, to the both of you. Oh yes. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna do another contest, right? We got two more shirts to give away. So mm -hmm. check out tomorrow's coffee talk for all the details. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give a few more. Give a few yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, let's get back. Oh, All right, let's try a few more things. Okay, so this one fell on me. Oh, well, we'll try that. It's more wafers. That's a sign. You want to try these ones? Yeah. Okay, you know. so it looks like these are all, oh, hazel, wafers with hazelnut cream. So these are They'd hazelnut. They'd be loving some hazelnuts in Eastern Europe. Oh, yes, the, they every do. Everything is either chocolate hazelnut. Hazelnut. And wafers. There was a lot with wafers in and, it. And a lot with wafers. But wafers are good. I love wafers. Yeah. I love 
I, well, I guess we should. My dad used one. to get these all the time. Get these, 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 the little pink ones, uh -huh. or the chocolate or vanilla, or the pack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not good. Mm -hmm. Not very sweet, but again, we have like soiled Western palates where it's like sugar we rush. We do. Yeah. We want everything to be like buttercream icing, sugar very, shot high. Very. Yeah. True. Yeah. Okay. They're good. They're good. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a cream filled wafer. They're I good. need them. Yeah. How about something like more savory? Salty. Okay. That'd be a nice change. So this is. Cheese and paprika flavored. Uh, I'm gonna say sticks. They're salted filled sticks. Filled with. Okay. All right. Well, I'll give it a whirl. Why not? Same. Filled sticks. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll see. <gasps> look how cute! <laughs> look how we cute don't have to split these. I'll eat my own. Okay. Okay. It looks like a pretzel on the outside. Yeah, it does. Kind of smells like a pretzel. There's little spots of salt on it. Mm. Oh, these are good. You know, combos. Have you ever had the snack like the pizza flavored combos where the pretzel's real thick and they're short? Mmm. Oh, these are good. Yeah, kind of tastes like that. They're tasty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These I would came buy, all actually. the way from Eastern Europe. Do you believe that? I'd buy these in the store. I would, too. Mm -hmm. I do like these. Mmm. -mm -mm. mm. All right. Can I try one more? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try this one. See, this is more creamy biscuits. Do I have something a little different? <gasps> we have stuff behind us, too. What about these honey hearts? I'll I'm intrigued hearts. by these. Okay. Honey hearts. And honey these are hearts. strawberry flavored. Strawberry flavored. Okay. We'll see. Hmm. Oh, my God. If I can get this open. It's been a shaky sort of day. Well, that's open. There you go chocolate and then maybe jelly inside? I don't know. Ready? There is. I don't know if you can see that. There's jelly. What's around it and under the chocolate? Like the mantle of this thing is very weird. Tastes like a brownie? Like a spice cake? I don't know what it tastes like. I... Well... I can say I've never tasted anything like this That's before. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> I know, That's right? Exactly what right? I was... My palate is like, what is that? It's good. I mean, it's good. It's not bad. I've never had anything like this at all. I've never, ever There's had anything like There's my Victorian politeness. That. Pinkies out. Gingerbread? I like them. Spice something? Maybe it's a combination of all the flavors that we've never tasted, like, together. Yeah, it's like strawberry. I, I taste strawberry. I taste honey. I taste a little chocolate. There we go. Honey dough. I'm trying to read these. Like... I can't think. Oh, honey dough. So the dough is probably a honey. Fruit hmm. filling. It's apple good, strawberry, though. Palm oil. Emulsifiers. This is too small. So my next set of glasses, I'm not going to be able to read it. Banana, banana. Well, I guess we gotta try something. How about these rolls? What the hell? Banana. It, it, I think it's banana. And the hard sell on banana, but we'll try. Yes. All right. I had a very bad experience getting loaded on 99 bananas one time, and Product. it ruined me for anything but fresh bananas. Product since. of Romania. Okay. Viva banana rolls. Looks like it must have CU7. Vitamin, so it must have seven vitamins in so it. So is I this guess. like a breakfast food? <laughs> oh no! Everything's a breakfast food. I can't read a Romanian. Did you know that the language, uh, the Romanian language, is one of the easiest languages in the entire world to learn? Really? Yes, it is. And is this dried banana? banana? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope the they, cat doesn't um, eat it. And believe it or not, they the 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 the, the most uh, popular language in Romania is actually English. Oh. They speak English very very well in Romania. Interesting little useless fact that. there. Now these look like I don't know what they look like. Cat treats. They do look like bandits. Cat and treats. And I went like this, and mine snapped in half. So let's. Banana. You it's know what? Like they're good. A little bit. 
It's not just banana. Yeah, they're good. Um, but you do have to like banana to to like this. No, I don't like banana flavor with stuff. It's nope. I wouldn't eat two. No, okay. It's not my favorite either. You can like it. You don't have to like it's it if I do. It's not. I don't care for it, but that was those. Yeah. They're not, they're like, it's that artificial banana flavor. That's ever I had that? Stand. Like yeah. in runts, when you get them out of the machine as a kid. Right? And yes. And the bananas. The first thing I do is throw out the bananas. I know. Or they'd be last and I'd throw them in the trash. I wonder if Dracula ate these. Probably not. Rolled bananas? Mm -hmm. Didn't he drink blood instead? That's right, he did. Okay, I don't well, think he had time for then. Romanian bananas. <laughs> and speaking of Dracula, y'all, oh my goodness. Check this out. So I put together, so I went on, I went on a, an excursion, so to speak, right? Mm -hmm. So I sought out a bunch of pictures mm -hmm. um, to show you Dracula's castle. It's a huge tourist attraction in Transylvania. It brings hundreds and thousands of visitors every single year. Uh, they restored the castle mm -hmm. and uh, it's open for tours every day of the week. And, it, and like I said, it's extremely popular. So I found some photos and some of which are from people who actually visited the castle. Oh. And it's some of the history may actually surprise you. Hmm. Surrounded by an aura of mystery and legend and perched high atop a 200-foot-high rock, Braun Castle owes its fame to the myth created around Bram Stoker's Dracula. The construction of the fortress began in 1377 and was completed in 1382 and overlooks the picturesque village of Braun, with some 60 timbered rooms, many connected by underground passages. These all house collections of furniture, weapons, and armor dating from the 14th to the 19th centuries. From 1920 to 1948, Braun served as royal residence, a gift of the people of Roscov to Queen Marie of Romania. She loved the castle so much that she had her heart buried next to the castle. You can see the urn on the southwest side of the castle across the little creek at the edge of the forest. Although Stoker never visited Transylvania, the author relied on his vivid imagination to create the dark stomping ground of Count Dracula, leading to persistent myths that it once was the home of Vlad the Impaler. While the association with Dracula is sketchy at best, the castle continues to hold a strong attraction for fans of the Count. The castle is now a private museum open to the public. <laughs> Creepy. Creepy. I'm. T it's my. It's. It's a bucket list thing for me. It is for me too. Ever since there. I was a little kid, I've always wanted to visit. You know, the uh, the Braun Castle, mm -hmm. and just to see it. You know, just for just like for the history of it. It's just so, so fascinating. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, tied in with all that lore and legend. You and, could have you a know. picnic in the woods. You, you could. You absolutely could. <laughs> Well, we have a couple things left. Uh, why don't we get? Why don't we do it? Um, all, right. all right. How about another like cakey, cakey thing? Okay. This looks like another uh, hostess thing. Okay. So that's that, and I can't tell what it is because I do not know the language. Um, it's a cake with something in it. Yeah, it's a cake with something in it. Okay. Some of these have stickers on them to give you like the nutrition facts. I know, and some don't. And some of them don't. Oh, it's, look how cute! It's litter. Okay, let me get it. It's literally a cake. I'm trying not to break it. Okay, there we go. It's a cake. A little cake. There okay. you go. And there's a cream in it. I wonder what it is. I don't know. We'll see. It smells like wheat bread. No, it smells like spray paint. No. It tastes like wheat bread. I swear to goodness, y'all, they just took two pieces of wheat bread, cut it, and put some kind of cream in it. It's it's good, though. It's, it's... I know, but I could go make this now. <laughs> What's the cream? I don't know. Mocha? Something or other? I think it's coffee. Hmm. You know what? 
Tastes like butter. It tastes like buttered wheat bread. Now with I'm getting buttered with it melting. Yeah. You know what this would be good with? Coffee. Mmm. <laughs> Scotch. <laughs> All this candy. Jesus. I love it with coffee. Well. I do like this with coffee. We have another one here. Okay. Strawberry yogurt. Oh, wait, wait. Are you sure you don't want to do, um... The banana one? Banana again. Uh, <laughs> All right, we'll pass on. I've stayed one. in my position with banana. <laughs> okay. Strawberry yogurt. I'm not like a, a big... cereal bar type thing. Oh yeah. I'm not a uh, huge covered in strawberry chocolate. in candy for like I'm not a huge mm. fan of that. Depends. Here, you want to try? This looks like the strawberry one that you get in the uh, Russell Stover sample that nobody eats either. Oh um, yeah, it's like I'm gonna tell you. I'm. I don't think I'll like this. Oh. Like nope. whipped, you know. Mm -mm. It tastes like bubble gum too. Ew. No, no, thank you. I don't live a life less full Ooh. because I don't eat candy like this. It's okay. That was good. That was really different. No, I didn't care for that one. I didn't either. That's how I knew you were the one. We hate <laughs> the same food. <laughs> right? Oh my god. This is disgusting. Taste it. Get comfortable here. Okay. My dad always thought that was funny. He's like, why do people do that? They'll be like, oh, this is awful. Taste it. Like, well, why would I want to taste it if you think it's awful? <laughs> In addition to that, we got some um, little candies, candies like that, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, what didn't we have? We didn't open. We that. didn't open. That's like butterscotchy little biscuit biscuits. Things. Yeah. And this and is a butterscotch uh, hazelnut. It looks like a Snickers nuts and caramel on top, and then mm -hmm. some kind of something on the bottom. This is heavy as hell. This and is like a protein bar heavy. This one too, which is uh, it looks again like a chocolate covered Wait. hazelnut filled yeah. uh, wafer. Heavy on the hazelnut. Was that was so much fun. So we've good. been to Australia, Japan. Turkey, Venezuela, and now Romania. Where will we go next? Um, hmm. Suggestions welcome. I look some Use other places. <laughs> yes, please do. I look some other places. Not everywhere. We has did. Them. Oh, we did Mexico too. That's right. We did, we Mexico. did Mexico. I tried to look for something um, African, Sub-Saharan African, oh, yeah. Mediterranean, and some of those things aren't as easy to find. Um, just because, you know, they're not at that let's box up our candy and send it right, up, right. you know, place. <laughs> but you know they have it there, so. It's somewhere. Somebody's eating it. We just it. gotta find it. We, yeah, we just gotta look a little yeah. bit. But we'll get it. We'll get it. <gasps> well, we really hope you enjoyed our little uh, trip to Romania and our international tasting mukbang, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. Call it. To call it. For it all the feeders out there, you're welcome. Yes, you are. It was it was it was a lot of fun. I like doing these and I do too. I especially funny. like because we spookified it. Yeah. <laughs> Made it a little bit scary. Yeah. A little bit scary. Some of them was real, some of them were real scary. My favorite is definitely I saved the wrapper. Where'd it go? Is this the wrapper? No. Where did it go? You hit it so well. Oh no. That's well, gone. okay, I don't have the wrapper, but my favorite. The little the, the chocolate cake. cake. Oh yeah, that was my favorite. And then my least favorite was that bubblegum yeah, flavored the rum toffee rum thing that tasted watch, like Yeah, cheap. that Gum. was not my favorite at no, all. I didn't like that. But overall, you know, gosh, they were not bad. No. So what's your favorite place we went? I think as far as taste goes for mm -hmm. me, Australia was my favorite. They had some good candy. They, they did. Had some good candy. The they Japanese did treats were a little hard to get into. It was made with a lot, a lot of products of I'm not familiar with. Yeah, true. And nothing I had as a kid that was familiar. Like, there wasn't a lot of chocolate. Like, I grew up on chocolate, so I can eat chocolate stuff and it's not foreign, but to the extent that I'm not used to things like sweet potato candy. Yeah. Oh, you know, or rice-based other stuff. It was different. Or Vegemite. Yeah, or Vegemite. I wasn't used to that at all. I Still didn't, not. I didn't get used I to I tried Vegemite all your either. tips, too, with the toast and the... the, the and I, a little I, butter. Yeah, I swear uh, to God, I tried. We did. We tried. I, I was going to film a short about how that didn't work. <laughs> 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 because it, it tastes is it, totally independent. Every person has their own. Yeah. Um, the Mexican yeah. one was good. Yeah. There was, no, a lot of chocolate. That that was none that was like... 
awful. No. There was one of them that was all salty snacks. This mm-hmm. one's mostly sweet, but we had another one that was all salty snacks. Yeah, so. and nothing sweet in that one. Yeah, yeah it was just yeah, like chips. Bizarre. You don't know what you get, but you know what? It's a good deal. There was probably, I'm going to say, 15 total snacks in here, and then a handful of like hard candies. It was cute. It was nice to get a little taste of the region and yeah. share it with y'all. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'd say so. A lot of fun. Well, I'm going to go sit like a blob. Okay. And digest all this, I think. Sounds good. Good. Well, thank y'all for joining us. Yes. Thank y'all for watching. Please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell on your way out so you get alerts when we have new videos. And when we go live, hit the thumbs up also. You can follow us on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark or on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark. Our email address, all our contact information is listed below as well. Thank you again, and I will catch up with you tomorrow for One Miss Booty Beauty. Yes, he will, y'all. Oh, my gosh. And it should be a fun one, me, I guess. Give well, me an S. Since give we're me in... a T. Give me a D. <laughs> what is what that does that spell? spell? <laughs> we'll out. Oh, thanks again, everybody. Remember to stay safe and stay well, but above all else, stay positive, okay? Ciao, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>